Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we will see a unified network new updates 8.1.113 which is announced as officially stable. So we will be checking the new features and what bug fixes do you get in these new updates. So on the screen you see the unified network application 8.1.113 I have a community release note open so we will check all the overview and everything what got fixed and added on this feature so this uh, network of the unified network update is officially announced as a stable so you can uh, download and uh, use the new recent features on your network controller so we'll check the overview it adds support for the network viewer NAT pooling LC network isolation device isolation and OSPF dynamic routing and also improve the topology experience as you can rotate it so under the network viewer you will see the detailed overview of your entire whole network uh, within the single dashboard which is called network viewer so you can uh, see your Wi-Fi network or VLAN network VPN and uh, the internet settings and everything so you can open that network viewer and quickly change the settings as, as it mentioned here so we will check those and the other uh, features they add is NAT pool so you can uh, it adds the ability to uh, have the NAT traffic uh, on your specific pool address so if you have a uh, additional IP address configured on your WAN settings so you can use this NAT pooling option so uh, and in the further upcoming release they will add the addition to customize the source and destination NAT rules and it is scheduled for the upcoming release and the next feature which was long awaiting for everyone like L3 network isolation and the device isolation so the access list is available now on the unify switches previously we used to do it on the CLI but that is not persistent at the uh, switch reboot all the settings wipe out so you have to do it uh, again so right now they brought back in the GUI itself so you don't need to do it on the CLI where you can uh, isolate your uh, L3 network and which black blocks all the traffic in from other different network even you can customize it uh, what from the source and the network you want to block the traffic even it uh, allows the device isolation and it automatic automatically blocks all the traffic between the devices which are connected in the same network so we will check back later in this video by testing it also this is, was a long awaited uh, features which ubiquity just released as you can rotate your topology previously it used to have a uh, like uh, from your uh, left to right but now you can uh, rotate it from top to bottom and you you can view all your devices also they brought the ospf dynamic routing protocol so you can enable ospf and yeah and create one or, or more osp virtual networks and the addition of the bgp dynamic routing is scheduled for an upcoming release so right now here you can see the example you can add the ospf routing protocol also they added the inner spaces uh, within the unify uh, network so you can add your Wi-Fi floor plan and uh, check your uh, Wi-Fi coverage and this all the improvements we will check back they added the options of side panel of your uh, unified devices so you can uh, quickly visit the panels which was previously there in the legacy UI and on the new UI it was still uh, not available though th so the, they added and they also improved the toggle allowed internet access and isolate network wire network settings and it was not available in the VLAN magic settings so they have done lots of improvements uh, uh, on this and uh, they have improved the firewall user experience and the VPN experience and the Wi-Fi everything so these all the bug fixes they did like uh, there was uh, unidentified traffic uh, was not included when you check the traffic stats uh, like uh, when you click on all traffic so some traffic were missing stats so it improves and uh, for ipv6 network they have improved the network isolation 
and uh, they also change the admin change log uh, uh, fix admin change log sometimes shows id instead of uh, change names and the uh, fix crash page crashes when using europe or queue time zone so they uh, um, fix those features and the inability to create van to on console with dual van after restoring from single van console they have fixed those issues and there are still some known issues like ospf default root redistribution is ineffective this will be fixed in the unify os uh, 4.0 so i will put down a link of the community released out in the description so you can read so right now i have uh, my uh, controller running on the hostify as well as on the udm pro both are running uh, 8.1.113 so we will check on it so right now under the dashboard everything remains same there's nothing changed on the dashboard overview but if you go to the topology you see the options here right now i'm using the ro rotate topology here if you drag this and you can move it even you can zoom it and check that whatever devices it has previously uh, there was no rotate option so it was only this way so most of the uh devices were missed in the and it was requested so right now you can just click from here and rotate the topology and uh, so that's a quite good features now you can view all your client devices which is and you can just click on it and you can toggle it and see from top to bottom okay and under the devices tab they brought the side panel here if you select multiple devices from here here so you don't see any options of the side panel you can't uh, revisit the same devices for the quick changes but they bought under the settings you have to go to the settings system advanced and you have to check the side panel tabs and you have to apply the changes once you apply the changes go back to the unified devices and click on the one, uh, one switch office test and click on the uh, office enterprise switch flex mini access point so you see the back panel now you can go back to the uh, u6 light switch flex mini switch and even i can go back to the office test so that uh, features is added back on the new ui so quite good features now also they have improved uh, i mean the client devices uh, things also for, but now we will check for the ACLs access list network layer 3 and under the settings you have see I have one layer 3 network added if you check under the layer 3 network name and the router I've used enterprise 8 PoE switch and I have defined the IP uh, subnet and it right now and under the manual section I have uh, checked these options if you check on the i button it says is isolate this network ipv4 subnet from all the other virtual network using an ipv4 access list on the unified switches devices on this network are able to communicate with each other so if the devices are within the same network they can communicate but the other network will be isolated so so right now if uh, i have uh, uh, my wi-fi networks one wi-fi network we created a new test and it was on layer 3 so the layer 3 i have i'm using the access list the network acl so anything connected on the this new test SSID, it will block the other network so we can quickly test it if i connect this uh, macbook to the SSID, and then i will try to ping each devices and see if they are able to access or not so i will just quickly go ahead and connect to the ssid so i am connected to the new test ssid which i am using the network acl so i will try to ping all my other network devices so i will just try to ping one of the switches ping 192.168.1.108 so it requests timeout and similarly we can try to ping uh, other devices also it requests timeout so it is not pinging so the network acl works and if i try to ping uh, it also isolate 
there is also one uh, global settings we, which we can customize if you go to the settings network and the switch isolation settings so here you can see the options l3 network isolations acl and you have to create an entry so also you can check here device isolation and network isolation are not applied to and do not isolate traffic between the clients connected to the below unified devices U usw flex mini office test and the office so these and the network isolation so i will create an entry so here from my source network i will create the source network and from all uh, for example i will try to isolate it from uh, like you can isolate from all network you can use your source network anything coming from for this layer 3 network will be isolated from default iot and wi-fi test so i can create that and you can even customize that so i've used those even you can use a device isolations you can edit the selections so the device isolation will be used where it will isolate the communication between the same networks so i will apply the changes no just for, for testing i will just try to i mean isolate i will use only default and isolate uh, all three okay i have applied the changes and waiting for the switch to getting ready okay so so right now i have used the uh, network isolation and i have used uh, the options here source network is my layer 3 and i've isolated it from the three networks so which is the three network iot unify camera and the wi-fi test so what we'll try to ping uh, the camera devices and under the client devices you can see here my iot devices and the camera devices so let's check again so let me try to ping so as you can see here i have uh, one device is connected uh, to the unify camera network and if i try to ping to that network it isolates and let me try to ping uh, the default network and see if it pings or not i hope it will ping it one three six okay so you can see here the isolation is working right now also you will see the the new thing added in this uh, controller version as i was saying uh, uh, on previously like under the this is the network viewer you can see under the viewer within the single dashboard you can see your wi-fi network you can just quickly go ahead and check here how many clients are connected and even you can configure it from your or even you can hide it and how many networks you have on this uh, sites and your internet connection and your vpn server your site to site vpn so the network viewer will give you everything within the same dashboard and under the inspection you can check your thread blocks and the ad blocks if you are using so i can show you the same for the unified dream machine how the network viewer uh, looks under the inspection if you go to the networks this is a network viewer and under the inspection you will see your ad blocks and the thread blocks here and you will get you you can get the watch list also which devices there is a lots of ad blocks so you can see here the inspection so let's go back to the settings and under the settings i can show you one more thing under the security if you go to the traffic the two options are simple where you can create simply create an entry and you block and everything here and enter the advanced option you will see the same way they have uh, changed the icons for it the, the firewall rules has been added so you can check it from here and if you go to the routing as i said you they have added uh, the ospf routing here so as of now i will just let you know oh they have added the OS, ospf routing protocol but i will uh, create another video where i will set up the ospf and test how does it work and apart from that everything 
I mean remain same as done in the previous version also they have brought back the admin sections here you can click on the admins from here directly even going into the settings don't need you don't need to go into the settings you just click on the left hand side the admin sections and you can see the admins like for your current sites and all sites admin you can simply go ahead and uh, add a new admin site admin view only so as of now this features works and i have tested it you can invite the site admin uh, with the read only or for the hotspot hotspot manager rule from here only so you can just choose the option current site and all site if you choose all sites and create an admin here it will be uh, added as a site admin of all sites okay so this thing has been changed and they have added the inner space which is on the left bottom here and it's still early access here you can add your wi-fi plan i mean you can um, from here you can upload your floor plan and place that access point and check the uh, wi-fi coverages so these new features has been added and apart from that the hotspot manager remains the same and everything remains the same so i think the uh, major update in this feature was the ospf dynamic routing protocol and uh, the network acs which we have just checked and the device isolations so that feature is quite good and it works uh, we have just tested so i think that's it for the today's video i hope you will like this video if you made end of to this uh, part of the video please make sure to like share and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching